interesting problem. We're talking about interest. We want to know about Kyle. What does Kyle want to do? Kyle plans to invest $5,000, part at 3% simple interest and the rest at 4% simple interest. And you're probably interested in wondering why Kyle wants to diversify investments, but he just wants to. What is the most he can invest at 3%? and still be guaranteed at least $170 in interest per year. I don't know, maybe he wants to pay part of his cable bill or something like that. What do we have going on here? Kyle plans to make two investments. X plus Y is equal to 5 thousand. What else? He wants to do 3% simple interest and 4% simple interest. Let's let X equal 3% and Y equal 4%. When I'm saying that, I'm not actually saying that. Those values are going to be those no's. What? I have 0 0.03 times whatever he invests. That's the money he's going to get back from the 3%. Plus 0 0.04 times y. That needs to be bigger than $170. Now, when we're talking about the interest, simple interest, after a year, boom, um, whatever he invests at 3%, that's how much money he's going to get. Whatever he invested 4%, that's how much money he's going to get. So, we want that to be bigger than 70 because he needs to be guaranteed at least $170 a year. It's part of his investment strategy. Anyways, how should you do this? Boom. I know that your book probably wants you to one-step it, but we're trying to get rid of Y. So then Y is equal equal to 5,000 minus whatever X is. That's what I'm taking and I'm putting it in there. And that's the step that your book probably doesn't put in. So you have 0 0.03 X plus 0 0.04 Y. Whoa, what's my new Y? I heard 5,000 minus x is my new y, that needs to be bigger than 170. And that's probably the part where the help me solve it let you down. Now, we go and we do distribute that in there. 0.03x plus ooh, 4 times 5 is 2, so that's 200 ooh, minus 0.04x, that needs to be bigger than 170. So then we gather, collect, and combine, and we find minus 0 0.01 when we subtract the 0 0.04 from the 0 0.03x plus 200, and that needs to be bigger than 170. Now you finish. You subtract off that constant, and when we do, we have minus Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting, yeah? The whole minus really threw me for a loop. So that's uh, uh, uh minus point zero one x. That needs to be bigger than whoa. Whoa. I'm really struggling with switching the signs on this. 30. Because I know whenever I multiply or divide by a negative sign, I need to flip the sign. X needs to be smaller than 3,000. Well, that doesn't make any sense. He should have um, X being bigger than 3,000. Wait, wait, wait. X is small. Yeah. No, you know what? That's right. And that makes total sense because he's trying to get a total turn of 170 if he invests any less than $3,000 in the 3%. He's investing more in the 4%, meaning he's going to get a greater return. So, yeah, it turns out I was wrong once. It was that time I thought I was wrong. He needs to invest no more than $3,000 in 3% in order to get $170 in interest per year. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>